hello guys welcome to you in this video we are going to see how to mirror android mobile phone screen using wi-fi to our pc or laptop it is a very easy and simple process in last video we see how to mirror android mobile screen by using usb same process but this time we use usb it is a very easy and simple process so let's go to our video First, I go to the Google Chrome. I open Google Chrome. I open Google Chrome. In a Google Chrome, I type Scrappy. I search for the Scrappy. First link is from the GitHub, and whatever the latest version of the Scrap Scrappy is available, it's on on the GitHub. Open the first link. Here we find the latest version of the Scrappy. Here we find latest version of the Scrappy. And here we also find, here we also find Scrappy latest version. Whatever latest version is available, download that latest version. Scroll down. Here we find the Scrappy and whatever the latest version is. Scroll down. Scroll down. And here we find get the app. It is an available for Linux, Windows and Mac OS. I am using Windows operating system so i click on the windows select the, your operating system properly here we find two options first is the 64 bit and second is the for the 32 bit if you're using windows 11 then go to the directly to the 64 bit and if you're using windows 10 32 bit windows 10 then check for the 64 bit and 32 bit but 99 percent in those days 99 percent windows are available with the 64 bit so click on the 64 bit Download it on the desktop or anywhere that you want. Minimize it. Here we find the our zip file. This zip file is the our scrappy and we are going to unzip it. Right click on it. Click on the extract all and uninstall it or go to the show more options and click on extract files. Both are same. Click on the OK. And here we find newly extracted folder. We find newly extracted folder. Double click on it. Double click on it. And here we find the our all files close it once again go to this folder double click on it double click on it and we are going to the give the path of this folder to the our environment variables that is very easy and simple go to the top on top click at this address or the path click on this path and select from the c to the this last name select this whatever it and right click on it copy it or the control c on your keyboard close it Next step is go to the start, type edit the system environment variables, click on that. Here we find uh, environment variables, click on the environment variables. In environment variable, we find two options. First option is for the local user. If you want to only give the permission to the local user, then go to the local user. And if you want to give permission to the all users on your PC, all local users or the administrator on your PC, then go to the here system variables in a path select the path and click on the edit click on the edit in a path here we find many options click on new go to the here right click on it and paste it or control v on your keyboard both are same click on the blank space now click on the ok click on the ok click on the ok next step is go to the our mobile phone so i attach my mobile this is the my mobile i attach it by the my usb cable i attach by the my usb cable here is the my mobile on mobile two options are very imp first is the enable developer options for enabling developer options go to the settings click on the settings in a settings we find many options we find many options find the developer options go to the uber and um, google chrome and find the developer option of the your mobile in many cases it is in about phone click on the about phone in many cases there is the built-in number in some cases os version or something um something uh, or any other options in my case here is the os version there is no built-in option if built-in options then say one time double click on the built-in options in this case double click on the os version for the same one time i have already de developer so it's not need to click on that say one time i go to the back and here next option is scroll down and find additional settings or additional settings or the 
advanced settings or the advanced in my case advanced uh, additional settings so i click on the additional settings in additional settings scroll down and find developer options click on the developer options in a developer options scroll down and on these things usb debugging on it install by usb on it usb debugging security settings on it and on this also verify apps over usb and debugging apps debuggable debuggable apps go to the back back and after that more imp thing is there are two more imp things on this option first is the connect your wi-fi connect your wi-fi on the same network connect your wi-fi on the same network so i go to the here okay i go to the here okay here we find my wi-fi name is the my anu underscore 4g i go to the here on my pc wi-fi on the same wi-fi connect your mobile phone and the your pc or laptop on the same wi-fi network that is very imp next option is i click it here and next option i go to the find ip address of the my mobile click on the settings in a settings if you not find ip address then search in the ip then settings uh, ip address sorry and here you find ip address click on that ip address and here find the your ip address here is the my ip address 192.168.1.14 this is the my ip address select your ip address and back to the uber back to the uber uh, mobile or uh, your uh, pc screen i go to the my pc screen once again so this time i go to the start type cmd click on the command prompt here type adb space adb space tc p i p tcp ip then type whatever port number is you can type any port number i type four times five and hit enter key okay now it's restarting in tcp ip mode 555 next option is go to the your mobile go to the your mobile unplug from the your mobile unplug from the your mobile and this time close it go to the start type cmd right click on the command prompt run as an administrator click on run as an administrator click on the yes here type adb here type adb and space connect space then your ip address Forty, whatever your IP address, then type colon, then you put port number. Whatever your port number is, add that port number. Hit enter key. Here we find is connected to our port number or the our IP address, port number and IP address. Next step is type uh, scrappy. Type scrappy, not capital, and hit enter key. And we find our phone is connected to the our Wi-Fi. There, here is the my phone. It is not connected by the Wi-Fi, and I am accessing this phone by the my um, PC or laptop. It is using my PC or laptop. I am connected to the my Wi-Fi network. So, guys, this is the simplest way to connect our phone by using Wi-Fi. By using Wi-Fi, we can connect our phone. To our PC or laptop by the simplest way.